US using USB PCAP and Wireshark to sniff a USB communication channel. This is I did this for myself so I can remind myself of how to do it, but if anybody else finds it useful, great. Download and install it. Wireshark and you can either download USB PCAP independently, which I did, or I believe it comes with the package, but nonetheless you uh, navigate to the USB PCAP directory, click on it, this window pops up, there's this question, select filter to monitor, what does it mean? Well, there's all these devices that are hooked up to the USB system, and you can see there's generic USB hubs and head, uh, wireless headphones and compact flash readers. On some other systems I've seen where this one that's furthest most of the list, there's many more devices in here. In this, on this PC, there's only one, but this is the number you want to enter. It's like if you see your device, we're looking at the LDI 15,000. If you see your device in this list, you then click one, and that's what I'm going to do. Then the output file name, I use the date. And then I see dash one, and this is the first one I'm going to do. And it asks you, do you want to allow it to make change? Yes. So then you can see that this file has pops up here, and then it's increasing in size. And I know that there's communication going on between the PC and the device I want to sniff, so I'm happy because this thing's building up. So you go and do what you got to do. Uh, do the do the USB interface stuff that makes you happy, and then you go click back on the USB PCAP window and hit Control C. It stops the logging, and you'll see that. Oops, wasn't in the right window. There we go. Just had to hit it a bunch of times, I guess. And you can see the file is no longer growing in size. Now, launch Wireshark. So now, find that file. Open it up. And what do you see? There's a whole lot of communication in here because there's a whole lot of devices that are connected up to that that USB system. And when you start clicking down here, you have a window here that shows it as host, which is the PC. Then you have the destination, which is the number of devices. Now, when you find your device, it's going to have, for example, I don't know what my device is yet, but let's say it's 144, 1.44.0. The two from the PC to the device will have one number. And then from the device, this is the rec receive channel, and then the transmit channel from the device back to the host will have the same first two numbers, but then the, the third number here will be different. So I know I'm lucky in that I know that, uh, let's just scroll down here a little bit and see what sort of data is coming across here. I don't see anything of interest to me. Okay, so there's one. I got lucky. F, F mode equals idle. So I can see that this is a response. My uh, my device, the response channel is 1.45.1 is is uh, this is responding. The source is the device I'm communicating with, and its destination is the host. So now I probably want to find a uh, something like a, a 145.2 that looks pretty good oh there it is f mode question mark and then this is the response let's see the response is the host there's the response i'm i'm idle right now so what's a more elegant way to do this well if i say because there's a lot of under communications in here you could do a search for fmod or idle. You go edit, find packet, and packet bytes, I believe. String, how about idle? 
and there's idle, so I can say next, edit, find next, control N, so it'll step through the idles. <clears throat> or if I want to narrow my search to only, uh, only uh, this 145.1 to host, so I can say something like, uh, let's see, and if I say, click on I click on the source and I see the rectangle around it I right click and I say apply as filter selected and then I say I want it it's all this is all from my device to the host I can then look through the command set and now if I want to say I want to make that only look at the things that communicate from my device to the PC, I can say, I click on the host and then right click and say apply as filter and say and selected. And you can see now it gives you the, the and symbol between the two. If I put parentheses around it and then I do a double pipe or and then I say, what is it? What do we say? It's two. So I copy this and I say two. Is that going to do it? Oh, it's a little. Oh. There we go. So now I get both sides of the conversation. I get sends and receives. It says, I'm okay. And the next command is that. So that's how to use filters and uh, Wireshark.